Hello everybody at YouTube, Pix again. Alright, now most of you who are fans of my videos have probably seen my video called CDs in the Microwave. Well, I'm here to do it again. Right here, I have a DVD minus RW, which I have no use for because my DVD burner um, doesn't support the DVD minus RW format. And as you can see, I've prepared it for this video by scratching it to death with the tip of a flathead screwdriver. Okay. Now, this time, I'm not doing it solely for the pure entertainment of watching a CD crackle in a microwave. Um, that is kind of why I put it on YouTube, but it's also beside the point. I went on to Google, and I searched up why they crackle in a microwave like they do. And this is what I found out. A CD, or a DVD, has a thin layer of aluminum in it, and when it's heated up in a microwave, it causes it to vaporize from the uh, radio currents, and uh, makes it all electrocution-y. Um, anyway, sorry about that. I have absolutely no use for this thing whatsoever. There's not much I can do with it. You know the spiel. So it's time to give it a good cook. Um, the website I said, said it's probably best to make sure... There we go. That, um, I don't have the CD slash DVD directly on the dish of the microwave. So, I said use a paper cup. We'll have it right in the center. Beep, 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 Alright, and if my mom finds out that I'm doing this right now, she's gonna kill me. Once again, beside the point. Alright, let's give this thing a proper burial. Let's see, we'll do this for 10 seconds. And I probably won't even leave it in there that long. So, um, alright. Enjoy the light show. Nice. Nice and crackety. Okay, that's good. Ooh, CD smoke. Don't breathe this. That burnt nice and good. Ooh. <coughs> oh boy. It's all smoky. It's not good. I got birds down here. Um, but there you go. That's the science. That's all. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Pix. See you next time.